Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the KC Baseball Report presented by Budweiser. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Overland Park Golf Club. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, June 9th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands uh, placed on individuals in the work face and the athletic demands people place on their bodies, and they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Call them at 816 753 4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I am the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. And you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can get two free classic salads with the purchase of a large or a biggin' pizza. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at 34th and Gibbs, Gibbs at uh, 913-677-1844. Or you can visit their website, ShawneePizza.com. Now, today we're taping our... Uh, radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on Sure West Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And you can also view our shows and our, some of our past shows on YouTube. All you need to do is search for the Good Sports Channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that the current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our June issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. And our new issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our KC Baseball Spotlight presented by Budweiser. This month, we take a look at Eric Hosmer, who is working through a slow start. Plus, we discuss the Royals' starting rotation, which needs some help right now. Uh, and in She KC, we have a story on a female boxer from here in Kansas City who's getting ready for a title bout. Plus, we share information on the importance of stretching. Now you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King at both Minsky's on Berry Road, Mr. Good Sense, the Kansas City Ice Center, Dick Sporting Goods in the KC Metro area, and here at Old Shawnee Pizza as well, where we're doing our show. And for a complete, complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue as well, or many of our other issues as well, on our website. And our publication, She KC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, shekc.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching She KC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, as I mentioned, we are here at Old Shawnee Pizza, and our first guest that's joining us today is Armand Robinson. He is a wide receiver for the KC Command. Uh, welcome to the show, Armand. Thank you for having me. Oh, you bet. Uh, we appreciate you coming in. I'm going to crank up your audio just a little bit. Let's start off with your injury. You're Right now you're on injured reserve. Um, you... Uh, uh, the team is playing a little bit later on today, but you're on injured reserve. Let's talk about your injury. Uh, right now I've got a pretty common injury that uh, happens in uh, arena football. It's called turf toe. Um, I was running down on kickoff, and my, my foot hit the, the turf pretty hard and just kind of jammed my toes up. So I'm dealing with that right now, trying to get back uh, as soon as possible. Is turf toe, is it a jammed toe, or is it a bruise, or is it a – is that what it is? Because I've, I've heard – I've heard it referred to, but I don't know exactly what it is. So. Well, it's my first time ever actually ever having it, having it, and you know, getting an understanding of what it is. But 
Um, it's just basically jam. You know, if you jam your finger, yeah. Except it's just you know your toe. So um, just been icing it, trying to get trying to get it back, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So you you injured it. I mean, you're going to be out for a couple more weeks. Is that is that the plan to to recover for from that? Yeah, when you uh, get hurt in the, the AFL, you um, typically if it's a you know if it's an in- injury that you know you're you're going to be out for maybe more than two or three weeks, mm-hmm. they'll place you on IR. And uh, when you get on IR, you have to stay on that for four weeks. So even if I was 100% right now, I wouldn't be able you to go. You couldn't go. So yeah. yeah. I'll be back hopefully in uh, two weeks. I've been, I set out two games now. So Okay. And, yeah, and, and obviously your toe is really important in cutting. Right. You know, in, in turning and cutting and things like that. People don't don't even think, you know, think about that until you, you injure it and then you've got to go out and compete. Uh, it's it's super important <laughs> that, that that especially that big toe that it's there so that you can turn exactly I was speaking with some of the linemen and they were, they were explaining to me how they played on it but you know they don't have to do exactly what a wide receiver has to do as a wide receiver you have to make those cuts and make those breaks so your feet are very important so absolutely so how did you and the command connect how did you wind up here in Kansas City well you know it's an interesting story I was out in uh, I had a workout for the San Francisco 49ers mm-hmm. and um, when I worked out out there, uh, one of the guys who, has, who works for the KC Command, uh, Ryan Myers, happened to be out there working with, uh, with the little the workout that I had. So he, you know, he kind of saw me and he, he thought that I was a good player. So uh, a couple of weeks after that workout, you know, once San Francisco did not sign me, you know, he gave me a call and gave me an opportunity, and I said, I'll take it. I got gotcha. you. Um, now, I read in your bio that it said you were assigned to the uh, command what does that mean assigned to the command you don't know and okay no, uh, I, yeah i, I don't know, know you, it, it, yeah i mean i know that they've got some players that come in from other teams and they get assigned to a particular team i just didn't know what that what that meant but you also did um some working out with the pittsburgh steelers last year what was that experience like i had a great opportunity to um sign with the steelers after the lockout last year mm-hmm. and um got to camp with them and uh Play in the preseason. I played in all four preseason games. Uh, it was a great experience. Um, it just, you know, it was it was it was a humbling experience too. Um, really, but I got a chance to meet a lot of great players, build a lot of rela- uh, great relationships with some guys, and um, you know, I had a great great a great time there. What's Pittsburgh. the diff- What's the difference between obviously you were coming from college ball at that point? What's the difference between the college game and and the uh, the pro game obviously everybody always says speed and that's a part of it but um you know what did you see as i mean wh- what did you see as as i need to crank up my game or something like that well i think speed is uh, obviously a factor um i think the uh, the saying you know what have you done for me lately is always applied you have to <laughs> you have to come out to practice every day and uh, make an impression um you know if you have you do well in the beginning of camp and then you start doing bad towards the end of the camp you know you might not make it so you always have to come out and be competitive. Uh, I think the competition is very, very, uh, very big in the NFL. And um, so, yeah, you, like I said, you just have to come out every day yeah. with the mindset, hey, I need to impress this coach because, you know, he might have forgot about me. And, right. you know, it's, it's, it's tough, you know. Yeah. I, I, uh, one of our regular guests on Good Sports is Greg Pryor. He played for the 1985 Royals. And one of the statements that he made to me is he said, it's easy to get up in the league it's tough to stay there yeah and that's you know that ties in exactly with what you're doing it's like every time you go up to the plate in his case every time you're put into a play you're being judged right whereas in college you're being judged but it's a little little bit different so exactly um, Exactly. but you had a great great college career um you were a standout at miami of ohio now i've heard miami of ohio doesn't want to be called miami of ohio is that true or was that true when you were there Exactly. Yeah. Of course, we we like to call ourselves Miami University. Miami University. That's, okay. that's what we're. You know, that's the, what the university is called. Sure. So, um, you know, we were a university before Florida was a state. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did not know that. <laughs> Did not know that. But you were one of their top receivers uh, in in history uh, in the history of the Red Hawks. Two hundred ten career receptions, uh, second all time in school history, uh, over twenty five hundred career receiving yards, which is fourth best. Um, in their history, um, 15 receiving touchdowns, um, so you're in the top 10 for that. Um, you also in you, you, you had a great year in 2010, 
and um, you earned second team all Mid-American Conference honors. And then I think in 2010, you guys also won the Mid-American Conference championship. Is that correct? Yes, I was able to win a uh, MAC championship, and also we won our bowl game at the GoDaddy.com Bowl in right. Mobile, Alabama. Right. Now, um, this was a team, and I, I heard something while I was looking on the Internet, and I, I watched some video. This was a team that went from, like, worst to first. Mm -hmm. um, was that in the same year or worst the year before and then to first the next year? Uh, yeah, the previous year before we won the MAC championship, we only won uh, one game. Wow. So, you know, we were at the, b the bottom of the country. Uh, and then, you know, the, the following year we came back and, you know, went 10-4. and four. Like I said, won our championship in bowl game. From, from an athlete's perspective, what, you know, you were obviously participating on the team in both of those scenarios. What made the difference? What, what did you see? What, you know, how did, how did the guys come together to make things click? Well, I think anytime you have a coaching change, we had a coaching change. Oh, okay. Uh, anytime you have a coaching change, you know, you have a, typically you'll have a, a year to, to make that, re, that to rebuild. Um, so I think that was part of the problem is, you know, why we did so poorly the first year. Because um, we had we had uh, great coaches. Coach Haywood was a great coach. You sure. know, he 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 came in and brought some great coaches with him. So um, you know, it, it was a it was a, a compliment. A, it was um, a compliment. Partly, partly, uh, you know, good coaching. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was also players really. You know, they were working hard in the summertime. You know, we were we were just hungry. We really wanted that right. championship. So I think just being hungry and working hard in the off season really. Um, really helped us out now in the title game uh 33 seconds are left i think the score was what uh, 19 or something like that 18 19 to 23 or something like that yeah. uh 33 seconds are left you get the ball and you were w i saw the video of that you were wide open for that that had to be the longest time as that ball's coming at you because you don't have to get away from somebody. You're, you're not trying to beat somebody for, to the ball. You're not trying to reach your hands out or anything like that. What was going through your head during that? I mean, that had to be the, you know. I've, I, I explained this a couple of times. What, hap <laughs> what happened was, um, I honestly, the, the route that I ran wasn't really the route that I was supposed to run. Uh, what happened was they made a mistake on defense. One of the guys who was guarding me blitzed, and the other guy wasn't guarding me. So I'm looking right. I'm wide open. I'm like, wait a minute. You know, I'm just going to look at the QB. Hopefully he sees me. And, you know, he saw me, threw me the ball. He kind of threw it a little high. So I kind of got nervous for a second. I thought <laughs> yeah. I was going to drop it. But it ended up working out. And, yeah, it was it was definitely a long run to the end zone because <laughs> I was like, I got to get to the end so zone. I got to look behind you. Right, 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 who's, right. Who's, I have to feel footsteps right, coming, right. coming up on me. But, yeah, that was, you know, that was a fantastic, fantastic opportunity. And, and it, it looked great on video from what I saw that now. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about the arena game. Um, obviously, this you're a rookie this year mm -hmm. with the command. Um, let's just talk about some of the differences. You came off the big field, you came off uh, the outside uh, field, and now you're inside. And the field is shorter; it's 50 yards instead of 100 yards. It's also narrower, and I don't know what the width is. But um, what's it been like to convert your game to the arena game? Uh, I think a lot of uh a lot of players who come in from the outdoor league to the indoor league kind of struggle with the space because it's all about spacing in the in the AFL. Um, everything is so much smaller, like you said. So, you know, everything kind of happens a little quicker. Um, and, you know, you have to create space because there's not well, – the defense will use the, the limited space to their advantage. Right. You know, so you have to learn how to play play around that. And I think that's something, some of the things that I struggled with when I first got here is, you know, trying to create that space um, that you really don't have. So – I think that's one of the biggest, biggest. Uh, Absolutely, issues. and um, you're. Uh, but one of the ways that they do that, I think, in arena football, is the wide receiver actually gets a running start. Is yeah. that right? You're that guy. I mean, the first time I went to an arena game, it was very interesting because you're that guy that that is in mo is moving before the ball gets hiked, and that allows you to have a step or two on whoever is covering you, and it makes the game more exciting. Uh, right. Did that? You know, I mean, timing of that has to be difficult as well. Yeah, that high motion is. Uh, it's 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 different. It is different, and you know they do that in the CFL as well. But um, oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, they do that in the CFL. Yeah. But it's 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 it takes a little bit of time to get used to. But once you can perfect it, you really you really can't guard a high motion. It's, it's almost impossible to guard somebody that's running full speed at you. Right. So that's right. why this is more of an offensive league, you know. Right. Right. Now, getting tackled in the indoor game, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's a little bit different because the surface is harder. Um, the carpeting, you know, that you're dealing with is different than the ground. But then you also have the boards. 
Mm-hmm. So what? <laughs> it's it's uh, it definitely it's a little bit more physical than outdoor football because is it know, really? A lot of receivers, you know, in the NFL or in the outdoor football in general, you can kind of run out of bounds, kind of avoid tackles. Mm-hmm. You can't really run out of bounds in the AFL because there's nowhere to run. So, um, and yeah, the, t- the surface, you know, uh, it, it definitely takes a little bit to get used to too because I've never played on artificial turf before this. So, um, you know, you just got to be careful. Uh, make sure, you know don't. Go down when you, you know, you, you got three guys and you go down. Don't try to right. make something happen, you know, because you can get injured. So Right, right, yeah, right. And now do you handle kick returns as well? No, I haven't done that. You but haven't I, done that? I'm capable. Or kickoffs? Of, uh, or kickoffs? I haven't done it yet, but I'm capable. That's that's another hard thing, catching the ball off the net. That takes a little skill to do because you never know exactly where the ball is going to go. It, uh, it can hit the, the way it hits the net. I mean, it, if it hits the bar, it hits the net, you know, you never know how it's going to bounce. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And, and then you've got usually have your back turned. Right to, to the field at right. that point because you're you're looking up and you're trying to catch it as it comes down, and yeah, that would be. Uh, are now the guys that do that for the command are the are the guys in front of them talking to them and saying, "Hey, go right, go left, look out, <laughs> you duck." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You, you have to have some awareness, but I think the, the the most important thing is catching the ball, and that's I think that's the toughest thing about that is just fielding it because you never know when the, where the yeah. ball is going to go. Yeah. Like if you, I don't know if you've ever been to a game, but, you know. Oh, I have. Yeah, like I have. It's, it's, it's hard to judge that ball. Yeah, definitely. Um, so the hardest thing for you to adjust to when you went to the arena game was, was what? Like I said, I, I would say just the, the, the small field. You know, there's, it's not a lot of space. So, um, you know, you, you got to make that space because it's, 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 the defense uses that to their advantage. So I think that was the thing that I struggled with the most. We've done real good. You played. You've played four games. Um, you've had 340 plus yards. Uh, your average catch is is like over 10 yards. So you're getting a first down every time they get you the ball. And you've already got seven touchdowns. And so you need you back in the lineup. You need to hurry up and get back in that lineup. We need these next couple of weeks to go by. Yeah. Your longest was 37 yards, which is basically the whole the whole field there. And uh, average per game is 80 over 85 yards. That's that's really those are great numbers. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been fortunate to have a great quarterback in Matt Gutierrez. Uh, and, you know, we work on stuff after practice, you know, timing and stuff like that. And I think mm-hmm. that's kind of helped us in the game, too. Mm-hmm. Now, I noticed I watched a video that is probably from your, co- is from your college days where you do a lot of jumping to catch the ball. I mean, that's, that's a part of, part of the game. There was even a touchdown that you caught, and it was more of a catch right in here in your body, but you still did a jump. I'm, I'm thinking you probably thought somebody was going for your feet or something like that. So you still did a jump and you caught the ball and, and, and landed. Um, is that a part of your game as well as, as reaching up in the arena game, is, is just beating that guy for the height as well? Well, sometimes I think you can use that to your advantage to jump and catch the ball. But, um, you know, I, that's just something that I, I did in college. But you know. Right, right, right. So um, as far as the, the command go, I think you've got about seven or so games coming uh, still left in the season. One of them is tonight as we're taping this show, and it's on KSMO uh, TV at 9 o'clock tonight. This show will play after that, but you can check their schedule to see when some upcoming command games are going. So you should be back in for about five or so of, of those remaining games if you know everything allows you to, to heal back up. But for people that are watching the game on TV, people that are watching while you're out and injured, who should they watch for on the field? Who, who are some of the, the exciting guys that, that we should look for? Uh, we have plenty of uh, great receivers on our team. That's one of the things that I've noticed when I first got here, you know. Uh, yeah. There's some of the guys here, you know, they could play in, play on the next level, you know, in the NFL. There's plenty of guys. So um, I think that our whole receiving core is, has to be one of the deepest in the, in the, in the league in, in general. But, you know, we're all kind of young, so we're still trying to figure out, you know, figure the game out. So. Sure, sure. Well, I'm going to uh, mention uh, you can go to caseycommand.com. 855 KC Arena is the phone number for tickets uh, to upcoming games. I know they've got something going on Father's Day where dads can get in for free. And then I believe oh, two weeks later is ladies. Uh, I'll have that information a little bit later on the show, but it's ladies night there. Um, uh, tickets at KCCommand.com. You can also email them there. Facebook is KC Command, two words. Twitter is KC Command, all one word. You want to give your Twitter address as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you get a chance, you can come check me out on Twitter. Uh, Armand Robinson is my name. Um, I'm, I love having fo- new followers, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm big on uh, social networking, so I'm also on Instagram as well. Sure, yeah. And I, di- I, did, I did look at your Twitter and found out that you have a twin sister. 
Yeah. Did people? Now I have twins. Did people ask you? Are you identical? <laughs> it's like, hey, hello. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah, actually yeah. ask that of us at times. Right, right, are right. they identical? No, they can't right, be right. identical. Yeah, they, right. just born, they happen to be a brother and sister just born on the same day. Yeah, it's right. just kind of funny. Right. You know, funny that people will do that. Are you, uh, what does she do? Is she uh, athletic as well? She's actually still in college right now. She's uh, okay. taking some classes at Ohio State. So nice. in culinary arts. So Nice. And that's where you guys, you guys are from Ohio, correct? From Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I was born in Cincinnati, but I was raised in Columbus, Ohio. Right. And you majored, you've got a, a Bachelor of Arts in, in uh, history. And, history. And, and I think on your, or your Twitter, uh, it said uh, you were a history geek. Yeah. I think you described yourself as that. Explain. Uh, I love, I've always been, uh, I lo- I've always loved history uh, growing up. You know, my mom uh, would make me go to the library and pick out books. And uh, they were always on history, uh, particularly American history. It's my favorite subject. So that's what I majored in in college. And, you know, um, maybe one day I'll teach it. Or, you nice. Know, we'll see. Nice, nice. So, yeah, so uh, in the off season, what is it that you do besides stay in condition? Well, uh, you know, this is, this is only my first year being out. So okay. I really haven't had a true off season. But, you know, I, I've worked. I had uh, some, some, some relatives who owned a law firm in Columbus, Ohio, and I've worked there. Uh, when I had a lot of free time. So that's typically what I did uh, in terms of a job when I had a lot of free time was just work at the, at the law office. So, And that was an experience, I'm sure, that you know it gave you a lot of knowledge on how life works and, and how the business world works. Yeah, it was definitely a great experience um, learning, you know, how law, learning about law and learning how to run a business and stuff like that. It definitely would uh, help me out later on in life. Well, Armand, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Armand Robinson, wide receiver from the Casey Command. You can go to caseycommand.com to find out more information about tickets and definitely get out to a game at the Sprint Center. It's a lot of fun. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Casey Sports and Fitness and She KC Show uh, coming to you today from Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half a mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. I am Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Join Kansas City Sports and Fitness Life Priority and Sportsaholic at the Incredible All-Star Game Watch Party at Danny Jackson's Incredible on July 10th. Watch the All-Star Game with former MLB stars. Have fun bowling, playing laser tag, and mini golf. Get a Sportsaholic t-shirt, enjoy a barbecue buffet, and more. Tickets are $75 and can be purchased at Incredible or by calling 913-851-1700. So come on out and join the fun at the Incredible All-Star Game Watch Party on July 10th. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, mention KC Sports or SheKC and get your first chiropractic consultation free. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. KC's new golf course is the Heartland Golf Club. Join now for $49.95 per month. And seniors play 18 with cart for just $25 with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness Magazine. For tee times, call 816-523-8601 or visit heartlandgolfclub.com. Single game tickets for the Kansas City Command are now on sale. Call for tickets at 855-KC Arena. Visit kccommand.com or email tickets at KC Command. And put yourself right in the middle of the action with your hometown arena football team, the Kansas City Command. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey, sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. 
my decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. At Stanley Tire and Auto, you can get an oil change for $22.99, a wheel alignment for $69.99, and seniors can get a 10% discount on their purchase with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Visit Stanley Tire and Auto, located two blocks east of Metcalf off 151st Street or call 913-239-8473. Find out how you can join thousands who are losing weight the easy way. Take the Body by Vi 90-Day Challenge and join real people who are getting real results. For more information, visit KCMOHealth.com and put yourself on track to a healthier you in just 90 days. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazine. Uh, I'm Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can get two free sa- classic salads with the purchase of a large or a big and pizza. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we're doing our show today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. Now, you can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at 34th and Gibbs at 913-677-1844, or you can visit ShawneePizza.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by First Student Char- Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses that you see uh, you're k- transporting your kids around can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, uh, corporate events, church or youth group trips, uh, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. You can call 866 866- 514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the command report. This month we interview a former Olathe East grad, Anthony Parks, who is a receiver for the command and believe it or not, is playing pro football even though he was born with only one kidney. Plus, we want to remind everyone that the command season is now in progress at the Sprint Center. And their next two home games are on Sunday, June 17th, which is Father's Day, where Dad can get in free. And then on Saturday, June 23rd, which is Ladies' Night. And in She KC, we feature a story on how females are more susceptible to concussions and how soccer headgear is helping to reduce those injuries. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center, Mafia Mike's Pizza at 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Uh, and you'll also find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations by checking out our website, SheKC.com. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or on Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages, and our websites are KC Sports Paper. Dot com and shekc.com. And now you can view our shows and our past shows on YouTube, and all you need to do is search for the channel that's called Good Sports KC, and that's all one word. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include Stanley Tire and Auto, located two blocks east of Metcalf off 151st Street, where you can get an oil change for $22.99, a wheel alignment for $69.99, and seniors can get a 10% discount on their purchase with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Danny Jackson's Incredible, located at 151st and Antioch, Bowling, mini golf, laser tag uh, with your coupon from KC Sports. You can buy a double play of any two activities and get the second double play free. Check out Incredible if you're planning a party or a group event. You can visit Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. 
The Flag Football League of KC, who are signing up kids for their next season, visit fflkc.com for more details. Old Shawnee Pizza, where you can get two free classic salads with the purchase of a larger Big and Pizza. Visit their two locations at 61st and Neiman in Shawnee and 34th and Gibbs in KC, Kansas, or visit shawneepizza.com. And St. Andrew's Golf Club and the Overland Park Golf Club, two of the finest golf clubs in the region. St. Andrew's is located at 135th and Neiman, and the OP Golf Club is at 125th and Quivera. You can visit golfop.com for details on these two great clubs. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in She KC, and they are Safe Kansas, who we're going to talk to in just a minute here, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Kansas City Chiropractic, Pulofsky and Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Garden of Delights Yoga, Beans and Greens, Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office as well. Now that uh, we're going to take a quick break here, and uh, you're watching and listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine show. We are coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, located at uh, 61st and Neiman, half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, you can buy one double play and get one free. Or buy one meal at Incredible's Breakfast Nook and get one free. Visit Incredible at 151st and Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's an unusual name, but it's a simple, safe, effective, and affordable sports injury treatment solution. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy has been used by players from the NFL, MLB, PGA, and more to speed recovery from injuries. Now, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is available at Summit of Health, 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit. Go online at summitofhealth.com or call Dr. Susan Anschutz at 816-554-4771 to find out how Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can help speed your recovery from injuries. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center has reopened and is now enrolling for fall classes. Located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, the Kansas City Ice Center is registering students for learn to skate and learn to play hockey classes. Come check out a public skating session at the new Kansas City Ice Center or contact them to schedule a party, room ball game, or group rental. For more information or to register for a class online, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. June is Women's Golf Month at the Heart of America Golf Academy. Check out all the details, specials, and clinics at hoagolfacademy.com. Like the Women's Instructional Clinic, Par 3 League, Junior Golf Camp, and more. Call 816-513-8940 for details. Get top dollar for your gold at the Gold Rush Exchange. And with your coupon from KC Sports, get 30% off any jewelry purchase. Visit the Gold Rush Exchange at 518 103rd between State Line and Warnell. Call 816-941-RUSH or visit kcgoldrush.com for more details. And get top dollar for your gold at the Gold Rush Exchange. Get two large, two topping pizzas, ten wings, and a two-liter Pepsi for just $21.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 112627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. That's two large, two topping pizzas, ten wings, and a two-liter Pepsi for just $21.99 at Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria Southside. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. One of the world's top golf club fitters is right here in Kansas City. Golf MD in Lenexa has been helping KC golfers for over 15 years by offering expert service at discount prices. Visit Golf MD for all your club repairs. They do regripping, reshafting, and line loft and shaft frequency analysis. Plus, Golf MD can fit you in your existing clubs or create custom clubs for you too. And Golf MD also offers computerized swing analysis and launch monitor testing. Visit golf-md.com or call 913-663-5050. 
Join Kansas City Sports and Fitness, Life Priority, and Sportsaholic at the Incredible All-Star Game Watch Party at Danny Jackson's Incredible on July 10th. Watch the All-Star Game with former MLB stars. Have fun bowling, playing laser tag, and mini golf. Get a Sportsaholic t-shirt, enjoy a barbecue buffet, and more. Tickets are $75 and can be purchased at Incredible or by calling 913-851-1700. So come on out and join the fun at the Incredible All-Star Game Watch Party on July 10th. We are back. You're watching uh, uh, Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can get two free classic salads with the purchase of a large or big and pizza. Visit their two locations uh, at 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today, and 35th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. And you can call in your order here, 913-631-5716, or at 34th and Gibbs at 913-677-1844. Or you can visit their website, Old Shawnee. Actually, it's ShawneePizza.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, former Royals World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nu- nutritional supplement information with us, Dr. Susan Anschutz from Summit of Health Chiropractic in Lee Summit, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas, who will be joining us here in just a second. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more, and you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness and She KC. Now to read each of their current articles pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations including Burger King and Sport Clips all over KC and in She KC is also available at over 500 locations in the metro area. Now in this month She KC we outline the benefits of massage plus we tell you about the Revolve Community Bike Shop uh, their Earn a Bike program. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf spotlight presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. And we've got stories on how to get out of sand traps, the longest drive club claims. Uh, We have stories on many of the Great Life courses in KC and the new Heartland Golf Course. We also feature uh, the following other courses in KC. Brookridge, Heart of America, Eagles Landing, and St. Andrews and Overland Park Golf Clubs, and then also these golf businesses, Golf MD and Hands On Golf. Now, I also want to mention that on June 16th, we will be at Mafia Pizzeria Southside, uh, which is located at uh, 127th and Metcalf. And our taping for our show will start that day at about 12.30. On June 23rd, we'll be at uh, Kansas City Royal Danny Jackson's Incredible, which is located at 151st and Antioch. And our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. And then on an upcoming date in July, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center recording an upcoming show. And, of course, the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Uh, And then also in July, we'll be back here at Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. Uh, Now, so come on out and join us, and you might see yourself on TV. Now, I also want to mention one more thing that we'll be doing at Incredible, and it happens on July 10th, which is the date of the All-Star Game here in Kansas City. KC Sports is going to co-host an All-Star watch party at Danny Jackson's Incredible that night, and you'll be able to come on out and eat from a great barbecue buffet you'll be able to watch the all-star game on many of the big screen tvs around the facility you'll be able to bowl and play laser tag uh, or mini golf as much as you want that night we'll have former major leaguers out there uh, watching the game with you Uh, plus there'll be giveaways and prizes and things like that as well the tickets for this special event are 75 dollars with the proceeds benefiting the kc baseball historical society which is a not-for-profit organization that celebrates baseball history and brings together fans and players and historians to share memories about baseball. Uh, now, tickets can be purchased right now at Incredible uh, by calling 913-851-1700. Now, if you'd also like to register to win two tickets to this event, uh, you can email your name, address, and phone number to freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. So register today. You might be a winner and have some fun at Incredible on the All-Star Game uh, night. Now, we're joined by uh, a 
new member of our regulars that are on the show with us each month, Marty Augustine, who is the owner of Safe Kansas. Now, Marty is a nationally known safety educator, and he's also an author. Plus, he's a former law enforcement officer as well. Uh, he's, as I mentioned, he's a new regular contributor to SheKC, and he'll be a regular on our show uh, every couple of months. Welcome to the show, Marty. Thank you for having me, Steve. Oh, you bet. Uh, let's start off with some uh, basic information on you, Marty. I mentioned you were a law officer, law enforcement officer. What drew you to that profession? I just like the variety of work. I don't like being in an office. I don't like being kept in the same location. I like being out and around, dealing with people, and being able to make a difference, being able to see what you're doing and how it's impacting the community. It's, it's just a fun profession. And how long did, how long were you a police officer, and wh where were you stationed? I've done it about 20 years or so. I started back in about 1991, 92 or so, mm -hmm. and I've worked in a variety of aspects. I worked in the Arizona State Prison for a while, lived oh, in wow. Arizona for a number of years before we moved up here to Kansas. And since being in Kansas, I've worked here in Johnson County for about seven years. I bet you have some stories from the prison. That's always interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet, I'll bet. So... Um, so did are you from Kansas City originally or did you, did you wind how'd you wind up here? I've only been here in Kansas City for about 7 years okay. but it was actually a family transplant and my wife got a job and okay. They moved us up here and we're pretty happy with our move. We I'll like bet. it so far. I will bet you've got uh, a couple of kids. I have three children. You have yes. three children. Oh, yes. okay. What's the the youngest one is? Youngest one is three. Okay. Oldest one's eleven. Got a eight year old in the middle. Gotcha, gotcha. So in this month's She KC, which comes out on uh, July or June fifteenth, uh, so when you're watching the show, the issue is out. You write about summer safety. Um, and our activities increase outdoors as we uh, head into the summer, but you say also that crime increases uh, at that time as well. Right. Crimes trend throughout the year in different ways but in the summertime you know it's a lot of theft people leave their car doors unlocked people leave their keys in the car to run into the quick trip for a minute to get a drink and they just don't really pay attention to what they're doing and cars get stolen and they lose a lot of their items and it's just an unfortunate thing because many of the crimes that happen are preventable and one of the statistics that i read was uh, like a thousand or uh, was it a thousand cars? No, it was more than that. It was a whole big, humongous number. Right, it's about a million cars. A million cars. Each year. Yeah, I, yes. I knew it was a one something <laughs> or other. A million cars are stolen each year. That's just that's amazing. Right, that a lot of it is preventable though. And uh, so you talk about some of, some of those uh, tips. Um, you know, you also say that we're relaxing in the summer. It's it's um, you know it's. Uh, it's a time when we're kicking back and enjoying ourselves and things like that. But the criminals are looking for ways to make things happen okay. as well. So you provide some tips to keep things worry-free. The first place that you talk about is, is safety in your car. Uh, fill us in on some of those things that you should do in your car, you know, when you're getting in and out of your car or what you should do if you're carrying something in your car that you don't want taken away. Right. It, if you don't want to lose it, make sure you secure it. That's a big thing. It, it's simple little things. You can lock your doors. You can roll up your windows. Those are the best ways to secure what you have. People look for easy opportunities. If a bad guy has an open window, they're just going to reach in and take something. It only takes a second to lose something. And the same goes with the keys in the car. You know, Why would you just give your car away? Make it <laughs> difficult. Take away the opportunities for the criminals. There that, have been moments that I've wanted to give my car away when it, it's giving right. me trouble and costing a lot of money, but that's a different thing. Right. That's a different thing. Now, also, one of the other things is, is um, after dark. It's real important that you're safe getting in and out of your car after dark. And, you know, you don't want to be walking through certain areas where it's not well lit or anything like that. Um, what are some of the other suggestions that you have for that? It's all about situational awareness. Make sure you're aware of where you're at. Know where you're going. Look at things. Don't just keep your head down and, you know, not be aware of what's around you. Look at the people who were there. Look at the lots. Stay in the well-lit areas. Stay in populated areas. Don't go places where if you think there's going to be a problem, you know, there might be a problem. You know, just try to avoid the problems before they begin you know just use your head use the common sense that that's the biggest thing well for sure for sure yeah and then also if you're if you're checking your car somewhere as well um there's a, a rec you know to leave just your key with the people if you know if you're lucky enough that you can get that kind of parking i don't know i don't usually do that but you know leave just that key with the parking attendant don't leave your house key or anything like that with the people as well so and then um you know this is also another one that I read uh, as far as strangers whose cars have broken down. There's really not 
you shouldn't really stop and help people. You know, it, it, you want to ha- stop and help. Sometimes you might look and you want to stop and help somebody, but there are other solutions where there you can is. get help for those There's people. There's ways to do that. And, again, it comes down to the common sense. Use your head. You know, don't put yourself into a situation that you're not going to be able to get out of. If it's an elderly female on the side of the road and you, and you feel compassionate and you want to help, yeah, I'm not going to say not to do that. Right. You know, but just think about the situation. If somebody needs a phone or if somebody knocks on your door at home or somebody says, hey, I, I need some help, offer to use your own phone and say, hey, I'll call somebody for you. I'll call a tow truck for you. I'll go down to the next service station. You don't necessarily have to let them in your car or let them in your house and take that chance of not knowing who they are. You, know, you can help them in other ways. Yeah, I had a guy, I, I was I was parked somewhere, and I had a guy come up to me, it was a rainy day, and he says, my car broke down, I work at this place, uh, you know, can you give me a ride, I don't have any money, can you give me a ride to my house, or something like that, and then I, I said, I, and I was actually, I kind of, I kind of, that trigger went off in my head, and I kind of went, this just, I mean, yeah, he's wearing a uniform, it looks, it looks le- legit, but this just doesn't feel right, and I also was running late, so I just said, sorry, and then he said, well, I can give you some money. It's like, well, you just said you just didn't have any money. <laughs> so I kind of went, okay, right. no, sorry. I got to go, buddy, and, and took right. off. And, you know, I, I've actually, in, in, in preparing for your interview, I kind of went, yeah, you're faced with those situations, those types of things a lot. Because I could think back to a number of different things that have been in my life where I kind of have gone, eh, I'm not so sure about this type well, of thing. Well, people want to help. But, again, yeah. you, you have to think about what you're doing. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. I, I think my own way, you think your own way. I can't tell you how to think, and I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah. So I'm not <laughs> saying what you're thinking is wrong, you know, but if something doesn't feel right, you have to go with your, your instincts. Right. You're the only one that knows what's right and wrong. It's, it's your environment, and you're the one who has to protect it. Now, you also talk in uh, your article about safety at the ho- in the home. Um, you know, a lot of us are going on vacation. I wish I was going on vacation, but a lot of people are going on vacation. A lot of you are going on vacation, um, and uh, there are certain things that you should make sure that you do in the house when you're heading out to vacation that you may not think about. You may not even, you know, you may be running out because it takes, you know, everybody puts off packing to the last minute and things like that. But what are some of those things? Some of the important ones is to make your home look occupied when you're not there. You know, again, the bad guys are looking for opportunities. If they know that you're not home and they think you're going to be gone for an extended period of time, they're going to look at your home as a target. Let your neighbors know that you're going to be gone. Get timers for your house. Let some lights stay on while you're gone. Pick up your newspaper. Pick up your mail. Have somebody get that for you so that those things aren't red flags that are letting everybody know, hey, I'm not home and I'm going to be gone for a while. You have to do something to make it look like it's occupied. Have neighbors check on your house every once in a while. Let them come over. Let them turn the lights on and off if you don't want to do the timers. You can do lots of proactive steps to let people know, that you're doing the right thing. Right. You know? And then and then obviously people are outside and they're working on their yards and they might open the garage. They're, you know, they're mowing the lawn or something like that. And you might open the garage while you're working on it in the front yard because you're out there, but then you go to the backyard and you might forget to leave it. And that that's a cause for concern as right. well. That that's a big thing a lot of people do. If you're there and it's attended, that's one thing. But if you're going to be leaving the area for any extended period of time, Close your doors. Lock them. It's just like the cars. It only takes a minute for somebody to walk in and grab something. And before you even know that they're there, they're already long gone. Now, are alarm systems, if you put in an alarm system in your house, are those often a deterrent? They are. Anything that you do is going to be a deterrent. Even a sticker on the window lets somebody know that you might have an alarm. But alarm systems are good for a variety of reasons. If you have fire alarms and smoke alarms, they're going to be able to trigger things and give you warning to be able to get out of the house. They're going to be able to notify the fire department or other authorities if there's a problem. Same with carbon monoxide. It's good to have a monitored system with that as well. If you're not home and there's a fire, it's good to be able to have the response and let people know that there's a problem, and they're going to be able to come out and get it. But the deterrent is a big thing. Visual deterrents are always going to be the best defense. Right. And we're talking with Marty Augustine, uh, the owner of Safe Kansas, about uh, summer safety. Uh, Now, if you live in an apartment... Are there certain things that you should, you know, bring into your thinking as well? Apartments are going to be the same theory as home safety, but there's going to be a more populated area. So you're going to have to think of some different concerns. You're going to be able to have an open parking area. So you're going to have cars that are exposed, more Mm -hmm. exposed than being able to park in your garage. You're going to have patios that you typically leave things on where there's a lot of people walking by looking at what you have. 
Don't leave valuables out where people can see them. Don't leave things in your car and apartment complexes where people are going to be invited to want to take them. Just use the common sense. Right. That's the biggest thing. We keep going back to the yeah. common sense thing, but yet you have to think about what you're doing. That's be proactive rather than reactive. You don't want to have a problem. You know, that's what I try to talk about all the time is if you can prevent the problem, do it. Why wait until something happens to find out that you weren't prepared? For sure. And then and then a lot of people are out and about, they're exercising, they're walking the dogs, they're, you know, they're out. There's also they're running on paths. I mean, there's a lot of running paths here that kind of take you through the woods and things like that. What kind of safety things should people be doing as as they're out and about? Well, at night, especially carry a flashlight, you know, let mm-hmm. let there be light. You know, if there's people hiding, you can shine a light and see them. You know, know your neighborhoods, know where you're walking. Don't go into unfamiliar areas. Don't cut through alleys. Don't go through places where you don't know where you're at. Try to stay in your neighborhood where if you need help, you can go mm-hmm. get help. You mm-hmm. can run to somebody's house, carry a cell phone. So if you need help, you can call and get the assistance that you need. But make sure you always know where you're at and where you're going. And if you live with someone else, always let them know when you'll be back. So if something does happen, they'll know where to go looking for you. Right. And then, of course, uh, in the summertime, we're working on our houses. Um, we're lighting the barbecue, things like that. Those are, those are things that we use, but to kids, sometimes they're toys. Right. Fire is always an attraction to the young children, especially with Fourth <laughs> of July coming up in the fireworks. Yeah. You got to use a little extra care. Don't leave the lighters and matches out, and don't let the kids get into the things that are going to be dangerous. Right. So let's talk about some of the other services that you provide through Safe Kansas. Uh, personal protection and safety. Um, what's included in the services that you provide in that area? What's unique about my business with the personal protection training is I do group seminars, but I also offer one-on-one training as well. It's available in your home or in your business. If you have a gym, I can come to your gym. And I'll teach you practical self-defense methods that are going to teach you the basics of how to protect yourself and how to survive if you are attacked or if you get into a situation. But it's not just about the physical aspect of it. There's more to it. It's about what we talked about, situational awareness, using the common sense thoughts in your head of what's right and what's not right. How can we prevent the problems? It's always better to avoid a situation if we can, rather than getting into it and trying to find a way to get out. So if we can prevent the attacks, that's always going to be the better way of having a practical right. self-defense plan. And I'll help you develop that plan. Right. And and if you're going to carry something like pepper spray or something like that, it's always good to know what the heck you're doing with that. Yes. A lot of people are not familiar with the variety of self-defense weapons that are out there. I have experience with a lot of different weapons and a lot of different personal protection methods. And if you have questions or concerns, I can help determine what's going to be best for you that fits your lifestyle. Right. And, and you also say in, on your website that you teach real-world practical solutions based on techni- techniques used by law enforcement and military special operations. You say that some of the moves aren't pretty, but they work. Uh, yes. I, I guess they don't have to be pretty as long as you can escape from a, a, you know, a bad situation and things like yeah. that. Now, you also do home safety services. I do. It all rolls in together with the home safety services. I have a program where I specialize in child safety in the home, where I work on child safety hazards, preventing injuries. But it also falls in line with the personal protection that I also talk about home safety and security of how to prevent problems in the home or in the workplace as well. Right. And then child safety services, that all ties in with the home safety as well. Absolutely. And making your house safe for your child is... the is you know, number one priority once right. you bring a baby or a Kids child. Kids are always yeah. going to be the first priority, and you should always be concerned with their well-being. Right, and then you also will talk to people about business safety and things like that yes, as well. Yes, with business safety, it's also about the situational awareness. I do robbery prevention. I also do a lot of travel safety for business people who might be traveling around unfamiliar locations. We talk about that. I also talk about weapons and options for the business environment. Things that might work for your personal life aren't necessarily going to be practical for a business. Right. But I also talk about, you know, theft prevention, loss prevention, a lot of different things that a lot of people don't think about and really need to. So people can reach you and they can set up seminars with you um, where you can come in and talk to a group or talk to an individual. Um, how can they reach you? What's the number that they can reach you at? You can reach me at 913-626-9104, or you can also go online to my website, which is safekansas.com, and there's all the information on there through all the different services that I offer, and I'm always happy to answer any questions or concerns, and all of my programs are customized for individual needs. It's not just a catch-all for everybody. It's, right. it's what's going to be best for you, and I'll work with the people on whatever they need. Right. Now, you're also a, a best-selling author as well, and you, you brought a couple of your books here. 
um, you know, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and show them to the camera here and, and, and tell us a little bit. Give us a little, you know, five second, 10 second, 15 second, uh, you know, description. I guess you can find out more about them right. on your website. The first your book website. that I wrote is called At Ground Zero. It's an emergency preparedness guide that takes you through all the steps of what you need to know before, during, and after a disaster. It also covers general home safety to prevent injuries and prepare for them and how to deal with situations when they arise. Right. And then this one is... This is another one here. This is a book about success that I wrote. It's called They Have It, Why Can't I? It was a research project that I put together about a year ago where I compiled information from celebrities, politicians, athletes, musicians, and a lot of other people and asked them what their opinion of success was and what they think the definition of success is. And I took the input from them and compiled it into the book. And, of course, on my website, like you said, you can go to my website and get all the information on the books. You can also order them from my website, and they're available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble and nationwide, anywhere. Sweet. Anywhere you want them, you can very, get them. Very nice, very nice. Well, again, you can reach Marty, 913-626-9104, safekansas.com. That'll do it for our show today. My thanks to our host for the show today, Will Walker at Old Shawnee Pizza, 61st and Neiman. Our guests from the Casey Command, Armand Robinson, and safety expert Marty Augustine. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for Good Sports KC. Uh, that's the name of the channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in KC Sports and Fitness. And She KC Magazines, you will find them all over Kansas City, and they're free. So pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, mention KC Sports or SheKC and get your first chiropractic consultation free. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. There's a 27-hole golf course and a 10,000-square-foot athletic club in the heart of Overland Park. It's Brookridge Golf and Fitness. Come check out Brookridge Golf and Fitness at 103rd and Antioch today. Golf, fitness, group exercise, personal training, swimming, junior golf, and casual dining all in one place. Brookridge Golf and Fitness. For more information, call 913-648-1600 or visit brookridgegf.com. And mention this ad on Good Sports and get your first month free when you become a member. Sign up now for fun at Volleyball Beach. It's the perfect way to stay in shape and enjoy the outdoors. For over 22 years, Volleyball Beach has been Casey's number one sand volleyball spot. With 13 courts, Volleyball Beach has leagues every Sunday through Friday evening. And sign up now for summer and fall leagues. For more information, visit Volleyball Beach at 13105 Home. Call 816-942-2820 or visit VolleyballBeach.com. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. 
Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's an unusual name, but it's a simple, safe, effective, and affordable sports injury treatment solution. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy has been used by players from the NFL, MLB, PGA, and more to speed recovery from injuries. Now, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is available at Summit of Health, 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit. Go online at summitofhealth.com or call Dr. Susan Anschutz at 816-554-4771 to find out how Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can help speed your recovery from injuries. Hey ladies, we now have a free sports health and exercise magazine we can call our own. It's She KC. Every month, She KC shares stories that will inspire us, entertain, and educate us, and give us ideas to help make life easier. I went to SheKC.com to find out where I could get my free copy of the publication. I also like SheKC on Facebook and She underscore KC on Twitter. And now I'm part of the She KC community. Are you? Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. <laughs> 